So what kind of experiments can you do in the dreaming state? The complete awareness, which is also called the lucid dream state. The first thing we should do is maintain the poise. Be balanced because you will quickly find out that if you get too excited or if you become too relaxed, you are going to lose this state. Initially, it is not going to be so strong. It is very flimsy. It is very delicate. If you get too excited here, you will wake up, you will enter the waking state. And if you become too dull, you will lose the awareness. It will become a dark dream, just like an ordinary dream of an ordinary person. So this becomes practice in itself. That you manage to come here and you don't have any control over your own tendencies. Then the dream will leave you. And the second big thing that you can do is uh, fulfillment of desires. Anything that you desire will manifest here instantly. There will be instant gratification of your desires. And that is why we call it the desire world uh, and we call the body that we get here as the desire body because it is an outcome of uh, the causal memory most of the time. So the question is why can't I fulfill my desires without taking all this trouble of becoming aware and attentive and what not. You will find that yes it is possible but it is without control. Sometimes your dream will give you what you always wanted. Sometimes it will just become some random scene within two or three seconds. You will get it but who knows what can happen because there is no control there. There is no intention there in an ordinary dream. The only way to get what you want in the dream scenario is to remember what you want. To remember is to intent it continuously. Hold that thought continuously with complete awareness that I want this and such and such thing to happen and that, that kind of scenario will materialize. Remember, it's immaterial, so anything is anything can be materialized there. You will see that uh, it will look like as if you are fulfilling the desires there in the dream state. But when you come back in the waking state, you will get the same desires again most of the time because now you remember that it was fake. And if this is happening, that means uh, there is not enough awareness in the dreaming state. You are remembering those things, but they are not real enough for the desires to disappear. Actually, if you are aware, the desire should not materialize there. Because if you are aware, the desires lose their power. So it is a very delicate balance. There can be genuine desires like to know something. How this dream memory is working. How this dream state is being produced and all that. So you can start experimenting instead of uh, trying to fulfill some uh, itsy bitsy desires. You can try to know some things which can be useful for you from the point of view of the knowledge. Remember, this is the path of knowledge and we are doing this these experiments mostly for knowledge. Knowledge brings the control. So you can try manifesting things instantly. Check how they appear after manifestation. What makes them more stable? And what can be done to get rid of them once they have manifested in and have become very solid. And you will come to know that totally depends on your state, your state of purification. Just like you can manifest gold and diamonds or food. You can manifest demons and the hungry animals, wild animals, anything, your enemies or the people you hate in your waking state. Anything is possible. Instant manifestation will be there. And you can try to control these things. You will get a good knowledge of the illusion. How the illusion is being produced. Out of vibrations. Out of the memories. There is something interesting which a spiritual seeker may want to try here. Is that we have all these accumulated tendencies. Which are trying to express themselves in the waking state. Remember that is why we took the body and we are in the, in the physical world. You know the story. We discussed it a lot. And uh, these tendencies are trying to express there. And they make you do things in complete unawareness and then you suffer the fruits of these actions. This is the very famous law of karma. You can try manifesting those tendencies in the dream state and see what happens. You will find that the tendencies do not know the difference between waking state and the dreaming state. They materialize and the actions happen and the fruits come. The consequences happen. But since it is a dreaming state, it is your own fort. There are nothing leaks out of the dreaming state in, into the waking state, in, into the physical world. 
you will find that there are no consequences in the physical world but your tendencies are now destroyed they they have been expressed and they're gone you can try to do that see what happens you will burn away a lot of your tendencies latent tendencies in the dreaming state this is actually naturally happening but we are not aware we don't remember and therefore the tendencies they reappear in the waking state you can also do some other interesting things that you can try to meet your relatives your loved ones your friends your partners they will in- instantly materialize before you and they will be as real as your waking state people plus you can just make them disappear with the click of your fingers anytime if they start becoming irritating you can simply get rid of them without any consequences obviously you can talk to them you can be with them spend time with them if you like somebody this is one kind of desire fulfillment and you will notice that even when you know fully completely that these are my own creations you are still going to like it because the lower layers they have no clue that these things are not real the lower layers have very little intelligence to know that with your awareness the lower layers are also active for example the emotions and the pleasure and pain layers they think if you say poetically that it is happening really and there is a good amount of satisfaction there you don't need to do these things again in the waking state then but that is something very petty and a serious seeker would just get to the work and will call the masters because you have so many questions spiritual kind of questions technical questions questions about science and uh, spirituality path of knowledge and the masters will manifest for you now they will appear as real as uh, the real masters but you will notice something that they know only those things which you already know they do not know anything beyond that when you ask something they just talk mumbo jumbo and uh, nonsense now this will happen generally but uh, occasionally very rarely you are going to get some words of wisdom from these dream masters if you if you have a master who is very adept or who is not in the world now left the body and he notices that you are seriously trying to reach him trying to get the answers it is possible for them to appear in your dream or sometimes the guru field is going to manifest something there which will answer your questions or will show you around it will show you some things in the dream state it's very limited but uh, nothing to worry there are more advanced experiments which we are going to do after these experiments on the dreaming which can put you in contact with thousands of masters the real ones if you are of a devotional mindset if you love some of the gods and goddesses you can call them especially the ancestors ancestral gods you can call them you can make them appear you can uh, talk to them you can ask for grants boons whatever you want or you can simply pay your respects that's all that is good enough it's a good experiment you may want to explore the causal body or the causal memory if you want because you see it is a storehouse of all the experiences of this individual many lifetimes you may want to get deeper into the dream or recall all those experiences of the past sometimes you want to see what is going to happen in the future also it is possible to get a glimpse of the future future events or future incarnations sometimes those events will happen exactly like that in the waking state it's not magic in the waking state is also dream and <laughs> just a different kind of dream that's all it is also your manifestation that's all it is so these are the experiments and these are only examples there can be many more you can also have the shared dreams just like we are having a shared dream of one reality here objective reality you see that which i see you hear that which i hear this can be tried out in the dream state many people try to do that but i have never seen anybody do it consistently but there are stories if you want to believe them now a serious question here is that if i do something wrong in the dream while a being in complete awareness in a lucid dream what will happen what are the consequences of my actions in the dream state i know very well what happens in the waking state if i do it without awareness i know what is going to happen if i do it with awareness same thing same consequences are there what happens if i do something bad or good 
in the dreaming state so i am going to offer my opinion here but you are going to know it yourself that's why we are experimenting here you will come to know many things so what happens there is that actions in the dream will have real consequences but only in the dream and the consequences are not going to leak into the waking state don't worry about it it is your personal area most of the time but let us say 1% of the time or 0.1% chances are there that there will be consequence in something or the other some state or the other and because uh, these are not happening in the waking state there is a chance that the consequences such consequences can be delayed because you are in the realm of uh, causal memory it has its own time it had it, it has its own dynamics the karmic law is the law of the memories law of this universal memory so it it can manifest some other time after many lifetimes probably we don't know and we'll never know most of the time the actions in the dream state you get the instant consequence there instantly there will be a consequence which you can control you can save yourself from the consequences so you can use it as a training field just to check what happens if i do something you summon your friends or your relatives and try to behave with them in a specific way and observe what happens what are the consequences now because mostly same thing is going to happen in the waking state but it's not guaranteed really you can try you can try to get a glimpse of it the time is somewhat distorted in the dream state so you can continue living there for many years while the dream will last for a few minutes it is possible but most of the time there are no direct consequences of the dream actions in the waking state except in a very special circumstances like you summoned a demon now that fear will be printed in your memory forever and this is going to affect your waking state so be aware and do not do anything which you think can be harmful for you don't think that it is only a dream everything is only a dream but there are consequences the illusion is not without consequences and that is what makes it so real for us just in the dream world these things will be relaxed and there will be strange consequences or probably sometimes there are none but that does not give us a license to do whatever we want there because these things are happening in the memory you don't know what will happen if you do something strange there and that is why some guidance is needed some master is needed it is not so hard and fast black and white as in the waking state here we know what will be the consequence of some of our actions here there are very wise people who will advise you that don't do this something wrong will happen or if you want this result do something like this there is good advice available here in the waking state nobody knows anything about the dream state even the dream characters that are going to appear in the dream state they you cannot trust them because they are they are your own creation their wisdom and intelligence will be mostly limited by your wisdom and intelligence sometimes they will tell you something strange you see yeah, anything can happen there but it is not reliable so if a dream character appears in your lucid dreams and tells you that I am this guru from this hundredth dimension, and I am advising you to leave your job, leave your family, leave your wife, and go in this direction, in that city, in this village, and you will find gold there, or you will progress spiritually there. Now, don't think that <laughs> it is true because it appeared in the dream. Yes, it will be very convincing because you see, the awareness makes it very real. It will be as real as the waking state, but. it is not reliable actually it's not reliable if somebody tells you this these things in the waking state also if your intelligence is also awake you are not going to do that stupid thing similarly you should not take advice from the dream characters so i i need not tell all these things what if you don't become aware in the dream what will happen there can be stages of awareness in dream if you recall there are stages of awareness in the waking state also we discussed this matter something similar can happen in dream sometimes the awareness comes after the dream is over when you find yourself floating in the darkness and you will think that oh there was a dream but i i was not aware there or when you wake up you find that 
I am aware now but the dream happened without awareness this is the case when the awareness appears after the dream sometimes the awareness will appear after some events have already happened in the dream and then you wake up because the awareness is here you think that it is time to wake up <laughs> because that is another word for awareness It means you are awake now sometimes the awareness arises at the time of dream this is this will happen in the natural conditions if you follow the natural way and sometimes the awareness is there before the dream even starts and this is the ideal condition just like in the waking state your awareness should be there before you act before the thought or the desire arises in you the awareness should be present before that in the ideal case similarly as soon as you get a hint that i am going to enter the dream state now the dream is going to begin the signals are here the noises are here the nervous system is giving me all the signs that it is going to change the state there the awareness should be there already there in the ideal case so these are the three stages stages of awareness in the context of dreaming state now i'm going to give you a schedule like when to do all these practices just like we had a schedule in for the waking state you can make your own schedule for the dreaming state practices and uh, for example here is one of the schedules for the natural uh, way of entering the dream state the time ideally is 2 hours before waking yes because you are already asleep now you need to practice it before you wake up before you enter the waking state and it is more probable if you hold this intention of doing it 2 hours before you wake up because that is when you are completely relaxed and the dreaming state is more lucid naturally and there is a good chance of remembering all these things all the events that happened in the dream use all your techniques and tricks at this time and for the first 3 months try to become aware in the dreaming state at least for 5 minutes there should be lucidity or awareness in the dream at least for 5 minutes even if you are not experimenting even if there is no full control you can still try some things once you manage that for the next 6 months try it for 10 minutes and for the next 12 months extend the duration to 15 minutes of aware dreaming every night or every day and after one year try to be aware in the dreaming state for at least 20 minutes this is the bare minimum you can do more than that if you are talented and you have the interest and energy and you don't get bored of it convert whole of your dreaming state into aware state and just like i said it has to be the paradoxically it must be done when you are already asleep then how are you going to even practice it if you are sleeping that is the power of the intention if you have the intention and the will power it will happen it will happen exactly when you start dreaming the memory will be recalled it will be remembered that you wanted awareness and you will be given that this is the power of intention and will but uh, yes the natural uh, way is not that reliable you don't have that much control here whenever you enter the dream and you manage to become aware you should can experiment there and you don't have any way to count the time also there is no way to measure the time so there are practical issues here you don't know whether it is 2 hours before waking or 2 hours after bedtime you don't have that kind of sense although it can be developed through intention or you can set up an alarm 2 hours before waking stay awake for a few minutes and then enter the sleep state with the intention to become aware in the dreams that is going to work more reliably these problems will not be faced by somebody who is inducing the dream state because you will have complete control over at what time you want to do it so the ideal time is 30 minutes after rising when you wake up brush your teeth and do whatever you want to do drink coffee and then go to bed again this time don't fall asleep this time do your technique and if you don't get time in the morning you can do it in uh, daytime also there is no need to waste your nights on this dreaming state you can call it any time so the ideal time in the day is 30 minutes after your lunch because the body is relaxed and uh, the ego is happy because it was fed something the body is happy 
and uh, the nervous system automatically enters into a sleep like state it becomes lazy state which is a good state to day dream or lucid dream slip into the dreaming state with complete awareness it is possible to do that any time usually we don't do it or we are unable to do it because we are so busy in waking state we are busy in survival jobs there are people there is noise there there are things to do but uh, you can utilize your free time to enter into the dreaming state any time in 24 hours or you can make your own schedule you're most welcome do it 3 4 5 times in a day there is no problem at all because th- these states they do not last they are over very quickly it's not that you go into the dream and then for 4 or 5 hours you stay in the dream it's not generally seen that will be a miracle if it happens even in the night time the dream state appears only for 5 or 6 minutes or 2 or 3 minutes and there are intermittent dreaming states and in between there is sleep not exactly but that is what we think so what can be the effects what can be the problems of these practices we are going to discuss that in detail in the next part